In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to look at how to add shapes to the titles you create within Premiere Elements. Let me play a little bit of this clip on the screen and you'll see a couple that we've done already. So we added two different shapes and we combined them with lettering. And we'll drag back to that point. So as you can see, we have a circle with words in front of it, and then we have a rounded rectangle. It's nice to have the ability to make these kind of contrasts. So let's show you a little bit about using shapes in designing your own titles in expert mode in Premiere Elements 2018. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go lift this up a little bit, and then we're going to insert another title at this point in time. So the easiest way is to click on text, new text, and we'll use our default title. So we need to give it a name. Let's just call this flag sale. Let's run right into a style. We have a lesson on that. We'll click on a style and pick this one. We'll increase the font size, make it big, larger yet. And then we will go ahead and click on our little arrow so we can move right up here. Now let's assume we want something behind this. The way we do that is we click on our fourth tab from the left, the Shapes tab. You'll notice you have several options. You have a regular rectangle, you have an ellipse, you have a rounded rectangle, and you have a line. First of all, let's start out with, uh, let's use just a rectangle tool. I'll click on that. And then over here, I'll, when I move to my preview window, I have the crosshairs. I'll define the upper left corner, hold the mouse down, drag it, and then drag it over. And I can now see that particular uh, object on top of my words. Now, in most cases, I don't want it on top because I want to be able to do things with it. So I'm going to right click, and then we'll click on the Arrange option. I can bring it all the way to the front, or just one layer to the front. I can bring it uh, all the way to the back, or I can bring it forward one or backward one. We'll just go send backward. If you have like four layers, those are different commands. So now I have my, my uh, rectangle, and I can resize it to fit what I think will look best behind the letters. And that's not too bad. There's some other options I have. I, I have a color option here, and I can change the uh, background color. Let's uh, pick something in the red area here, and I'll click on OK. I can also add a drop shadow using the same uh, color properties box if I want to. Uh, we can add one here, and it will add a small shadow to the box. And I'll click on OK. A little more three-dimensional look there. That's not too bad. So uh, now I have a box. I can also uh, do a circle. If I want to do a circle or an ellipse, I click on the other tool. I can click on that, and then I can drag anywhere I want to, and drag across, and I can create an ellipse uh, in any shape I want. I can approximate a circle, and that's not too bad. But there's a perfect way to do a circle. I'll do Control z to undo that. And to do that, all I need to do is hold the Shift key down as I begin to drag from one corner to the other in my circle. And the Shift will create a perfect circle. So that's a nice feature. Now the other thing I might want to do is perhaps is change the color of that. We'll just pick a green for now. I can also give it a shadow using the same color palette. And then it would be very easy at this point in time to go ahead and click on my title option here and click over here and we can create a new title we'll just call this sale and uh, then I can go ahead to my style menu and pick a style that I would like to use with this um, we can go back to our text tool and make it a lot bigger and we can go ahead and reposition it wherever we want to uh, inside our box or we could do the sale on the top part and do more text here uh, we could create another text for example put it right here and type 40% uh, uh, off 
grab the second text box and move it around and then we can stylize that one too but this gives you an example of the ways in which you can use shapes you also have a rounded rectangle that we saw before you also have a line tool when you click on a line tool you can uh, uh, go you you get a rectangle but the actual line is the only part from is the area from one corner to the other you can change the color of the line the length of the line direction of the line and you, once you have the line you can take it and you can move it anywhere you want to uh, in your document if I wanted this to be behind the flag sail, for example, I can move it here and then I can right click on the line and do a range and, and do send to back. And now the line is behind both the text and the rectangle. So those are some of the ways in which you can begin to experiment with the shape option when it comes to augmenting your titles in Adobe Premiere 2018.